all right guys so good morning it is 7 40 okay and i've received a couple requests to do like a day in my life a vlog how i get the kids up in the morning how i get them to bed blah 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 so some of this i have kind of done a little bit on tiktok but i'm gonna do it for y'all today so for starters it's 7 41 oh the baby and I have been up since about 6.50, but I don't come out of the room until I'm ready for her to get up because she doesn't get up until she hears us. Typically, sometimes she'll get up before us, but that's really, really rare. So I got the baby up and then I bring him out here once he's fed and changed, put him in his bouncer, strap him in, take the dog down. So that's what I've done so far. And then I just got her up. Now the challenge is to get my toddler to let me change her diaper. So that's what I'm about to do. I just bring diapers out and I try to change him first because it's already been an hour since I've changed him, about an hour. So I change him first and then usually that convinces her to let me change her unless she's in her own world, which happens often. Then I will do breakfast. So I'm gonna go change them and come back on here because today will be a little bit different because I do have an appointment today if I decide to go to it. A lot of times with babies, I get lazy and I decide to just not go, but reschedule, whatever. Um, but yeah, so let me change them and then I'm gonna come right back and continue to show you how my morning. Okay, so that didn't take as long as usual. It's only 7.48, so it took me a few minutes of convincing. There's her magic words, and I knew those were coming. She'll say eat, eat when she's hungry, and usually I'll cook her something, eggs, um, French toast. She eats everything, sausage, bacon, eggs, French toast, grits. Like, she loves to eat, even lunch. But when she says eat, eat, and she identifies she's ready to eat, I try to find something quick. Okay, baby. So this is something she loves. These are blueberry and apple waffles organic stone ground wheat snacks. I don't know. She likes all the flavors of these. So we're gonna try that, and she thinks it's like a waffle, but it's healthier at least. I'm coming, baby, right now. Mommy making it? Um, and she will stand at her chair until I give her some food. Also, it's gonna be kind of hard to film because my ring light tripod thing broke, so you guys are gonna be at super weird angles, and it's gonna be kind of dark, and it's just gonna be annoying. So I don't know, who wants to buy me a ring light? Just kidding, kidding, kidding. Um, so I'm just going to break these up on here and she will eat it whole, like she's 18 months, but it's just messier whole. So, and then if she decides she doesn't want that, I'm going to do the Nutri-Grain. She does love these, strawberry, blueberry, apple, all of the above. Um, sometimes she decides what she wants to eat. Sometimes she eats everything. Usually I have bananas and strawberries and everything, but I do need to go to the store. And the only thing I have right now is apples and mandarin oranges, like cuties oranges. Um, again, sometimes she'll eat those. She prefers strawberries, apples, etc. Um, cantaloupe, watermelon. So I'm gonna cut up an apple, try that, get her situated, and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I just kind of peel it like that. And then what I do is I just take a little, um, herring knife and I just cut her like a few chunks usually she'll eat a whole apple a whole banana she'll eat a lot a lot of watermelon and cantaloupe but again it depends if she's feeling good if she's in the mood now fruit in general she does pretty much eat with every meal but if she wants the apple sometimes she wants to pick what fruit she wants and that's when it gets a little tricky um, but then we're gonna take Miss Mama, put her in her chair. You ready to eat? She's looking like, I don't know. So now she's got a pretty good smorgasbord. So give me one second. All right, so I put her in her chair. I do keep her bibs right behind the chair on a command hook. So daddy can grab one, mommy can grab one. If my mom's over here, Mimi can grab one. And she sits here and eats. Uh, Mr. Man is over here playing. I don't want to get too close because then he'll want me to come over here. So he's sitting there playing. Everybody's changed. She's eating. And another thing I do is I get things ready like the day before. Like people are like, oh, how do you have time for X, Y, Z? 
Um, so like I pre-make her juice, super simple. Then you wake up one less step. So boom, her juice is ready. Now what I'm about to do is pre-make her milk. So this is her milk cup. I'm gonna wash it, pre-make it for tonight. And then that's one less step I have to do. While I'm doing all of that, I get myself in the kitchen ready because they're both in chairs, content, happy, etc. The biggest tip is like, you have to do it as you go. So like my boyfriend left this in the sink last night. I'm not gonna leave this in the sink and let it sit all day. Like I'm gonna go ahead, clean it up. Her stuff from this morning, her, her neutral grain trash, everything is already thrown away. The bucket, the bucket, the box for the waffles is already put away. Like trying to clean it all up at the end of the night or trying to do stuff during the day with it all like right in your face is absolutely insane. Like if you just clean it up or do it as you go, you'll feel so much better. Like that's how you find the time because then this is, um, I keep also a pump for my Dawn dish soap so that I'm not reaching under and having to grab bottles and then she wants to go into here. Like it's all just like learning tips and tricks of what works for you and your kids like say she's very very nosy like if you open a cabinet she wants to go in that cabinet you know what i'm saying like that's just who she is um and you know if the baby fusses it's okay like babies fuss he will be okay as long as he's in a safe spot he's not on the couch he's not on the bed somewhere he can roll or fall you know he'll be fine so right now, I'm gonna make this milk bottle for her later, unload and start reloading the dishwasher, which right now there's nothing to reload, but when she's done eating, her plate will need reloaded. Um, but I run the dishwasher every night before bed, and I unload it every morning when I wake up. Like, that's literally just the easiest way to do it, so then you have clean dishes for the day, you don't have dirty dishes in your sink. Um, make sure you take the nipples off and get behind the nipples. Because it does, I've seen so many people let bottles mold back there. Make sure you're always doing that, even on sippy cups, especially the ones with the straws. Make sure you're taking a few wet, baby. Yum, it is good. She's eating honey for game bar. Um, no crack up, baby. You gotta eat, eat. Um, but yeah, some of this I'll price speed up, some of this I'll talk through. I'll try to record what I can. Again, I don't have a tripod. Again, I look a hot mess. Usually when she's in her chair, I try to go put on my skincare, brush my teeth. I try to eat while she, I try to hustle while she's in her chair, so. <laughs> also, another thing is I personally believe in screen time. Sage is 18 months and she's been walking since nine to 10 months. She's, um, She's already saying three words in a sentence, commands, requests. She can do all of that. Like people who don't do screen time, it's still not working if you're not talking to your kids. Like you have to sit there and talk to them. And I talk to her all day long. When she's ready to play, we go in her room and we all sit down and we play together. Like, um, just kidding. I need to run the dishwasher because it looks like usually I leave it dirty and yeah, when and when Tony gets home, Tony will um, turn it on, but men. <laughs> so I'll run that in a minute because it'll be too loud um, during this video. So the next thing I'm gonna do is attempt to make his bottles. So I'm gonna do that really quickly because I hustle through that because it takes forever and I hate making bottles. So I'm gonna make him some bottles for today. And then I'm gonna go in the bathroom and get ready. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. You get ready myself. Um, and by that, that literally just means put my hair up, brush my teeth, put on my lotion. And that is something Sage does every time I come in the bathroom, which the bathroom is literally right across from where she's sitting. That's another change we made is when we moved, we gave her the master bedroom. Um, well, them, because they're sharing a room right now because he's not even in the room. So whatever. Um, he's still in our room in his bassinet. But that's another change we made is... It works better to have her in her own area. And so like right now, if I open this door really quickly, which is not even closed, it's open. Um, I can see directly into my living space and take care of them as like I need to. Um, I don't usually shower when they're awake or anything because that's just not my style. But um, this way, like right now, he's starting to fuss because he's been sitting by himself for like, 
maybe 30 minutes minus his diaper change. So he's starting to be like, where is everybody? He's okay. Like, listen, mama, I promise if he's fed, changed, he's okay. Um, and I know they say like, oh, crying and stuff, it, it overstimulates their system and everything. And yes, I do agree to that to an extent. But if you have to get ready, you have to get ready. If you have to put on lotion, you have to put on lotion. If you have to go use the bathroom, you have to go use the bathroom. And it's okay. Like, I promise baby will be fine. Um, it's not ever going to hurt them just to cry a few minutes. He's out there just going, eh, eh, and he'll start crying soon. But I know I have enough time to do my lotion brush my teeth, and get ready for myself for the day, okay? So definitely just always remember that, that crying never hurt nobody. In the hospital when you had the baby, I know a nurse told you that. Like literally, they'd be like, listen, mama, crying never hurt nobody, it's okay. And as long as they're safe, they're changed, and they're fed, a few minutes is okay. So if you don't believe with that, if you don't agree with that, I don't really care. That's what I believe in. I believe they are okay. Um, I do get, get my baby. I do pick up my baby, but I also take care of myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, and minimally, I'm about to go right back out looking like this. Like, this is how I'm going to look until my appointment time. But anyways, I'm going to brush my teeth now and I'll see you guys on the next step. This is going to be a pretty choppy random video because again, I don't have a tripod. I'm going to edit it and everything, but I'm just trying to show you guys as quickly as possible. Pretty much this will be my morning routine because if not, it'll get too long. Um, and then maybe I'll do a night routine tonight or tomorrow for you guys. Hi, mom. I ate yummy. And he waits behind this baby Sorry, gate. I got a phone call. He waits behind the gate because if I leave him out while she's eating, again, you have to learn your kids, your routine, what works for you. But if I leave him out, she thinks it's funny to throw all of her food and feed him. She's been doing that since she was like eight or nine months old. Um, I know, baby. I'm right here. Every time I leave, she's like, eh. Um, so what I'm about to do right now is go ahead and pick out some outfits. Some days I go all the way through it dressing them. Some days I just pick out clothing, shoes, headbands, etc. So if I decide I want to up and leave, like if I decide like, okay, I need to go to Target. I need to go. I look in the pantry and I need something to cook for dinner tonight. At least they're already ready. And again, that's one less task I have to do. That's one less thing I have to do. Like they're already dressed, etc. whatever. Again, personal preference is what I enjoy doing. You don't have to do that. It just helps me a lot. And I also have all of their clothes um, together in this closet. So these, this is her rack. This is his rack. I need to hang that up. This is clothes. I keep this bag in here for when I'm. they're done. Like these need to be donated, given away to a friend, whatever. Um, and then this is her bow box. And so it's just completely organized in boxes by color. These are bills I have to put away. So at least they're in the right spot. That's why I don't have any clutter, any mess. Um, all of their extra blankets and sheets are folded up here. This is a dress I have to return. So it's separated from the stack. These are where all of their shoes go. So I have that. And then over here, they just combined because a lot of the sneakers and stuff like these he will be wearing when she's done. The red Converse, like, so it's all together. But these are all his right now, his little baby shoes. Those are his. And then winter boots and slippers are down here. I do start buying a size up. So these are all sixes for the winter because she's currently in three and a half, kind of four right now. So, okay, so before he gets too upset, because I'm pushing my time now with him, I'm just gonna grab something quick and simple for them to wear. Again, personal preference. Um, I don't get them dressed every day, but when I do, I like to just go ahead and pick it out and set it on the bed so then it's ready for me when everybody else is ready. And I just grab something quick. So like, we're, I know we're not going anywhere today. He's gonna wear this ridiculously hideous outfit. Um, and then I'm just gonna do this tank for her with a pair of pink shorts because that's pink writing and then I'm going about my day so now as you can hear he is fussing so I'm gonna go attend to him get her out of the high chair and do all of that again I don't even think it's eight o'clock yet and our morning's pretty much our morning routine's pretty much done at this point like that's all that comes to it is getting yourself ready finding a routine for yourself um I do keep her dresser drawers in here because she likes to pull all of her clothes out so let me see, I think these pink shorts are almost the same pink color as that shirt. Okay, so now what I'm about to go do, since Mr. Man wants some attention, 
he's about to go get dressed um, while she's still eating. It's 8.10. That clip, I said it wasn't even 8 yet. It was. It's 8.10. Um, she's still eating and drinking, so I'm going to take him into the room and get him dressed really quickly. Um, and then when she's done, I'll wipe her down and get her dressed really quickly. So then you're not tackling two babies at once. That's a whole other thing is like tackling them both at the same time is extremely overwhelming. I've had my mornings where I think I'm going to lose my mind trying to get myself ready, get them ready and get out the door by a certain time. For example, doctor's appointments or plans like we had brunch last weekend and I literally thought I was losing my mind. I literally thought I was going crazy. Also, this is the first video I've ever uploaded on YouTube looking like this. So... <laughs> Y'all better be happy. I'm supposed to have my lash appointment today and everything, but I don't know if I'm going to go or not. I don't know. We'll see how they're feeling, how I'm feeling. Sometimes, like, when Tony wakes up, because before anybody does the whole, where's your partner? Do they have fathers? Is their father? Yes, he is here. He works. I usually say nights, but it's really evening, so he'll work, like, 4 to 12, 4 to 1. He'll come home at 12 or 1, take Levi for that feed, as well as his three four five o'clock feed def depending on when he wants to eat during the night and then i take levi anywhere between six seven eight o'clock in the morning so i sleep pretty much all night so he's resting now and he'll get up around 10 11 and help me during that nap lunch hour depending on who's up who's eating who's whatever um and also for context she is 18 months and levi here's only four months He's watching Miss Rachel. She's popping the bubbles, so he's... <laughs> but he's about to go get dressed, because him... We buy. He's stuck. Him was being a crybaby, so... We are going to go get dressed. Hi, fat man. Say hi. He don't care. Look at those crazy eyes. And then Miss Lady's still eating. She's doing pretty good. They tease. <laughs> that crazy hair you wake up so crazy girl i cannot okay y'all mr man is dressed say hi baby mm -hmm. say hi and that's another thing too is like my kitchen woke up clean because i clean it before bed i did the floors before bed i did all the laundry yesterday i did so like you have to pick what's your greatest battle and like what you're willing to or not to do or spend time on um, and one thing with me is I do not want to wake up to a dirty house because I know by 8 a.m. Right now I have a monster truck on the floor. I have a swing. I have his play mat out. I have her blankets out. I have her food out. Like I know by 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning I'm going to have to clean it again. And I don't want to clean on top of yesterday's stuff. I don't want today's stuff put on top of what I have to do, you know, from yesterday. So I clean every day multiple times a day um when i do a full daily vlog because again i'm only going to do my morning routine so um i'll probably end this by like nine ten o'clock because it's just going to be too long and i know this video will be pretty choppy because it's just me carrying around the phone i don't have anything again to set it up with so hopefully um i can order something soon i'm not working so take that with a grain of salt but hopefully i can order something soon to be able to record the videos like much better for you guys from you know not just a propped up phone perspective um and this guy is so heavy he is already almost 18 pounds and he's four months sage was 19 pounds at her one year checkup so there's that um but yeah we're gonna hang out and wait till she's done eating because she's eating her apples now and Again, I believe in screen time. Give yourself a mental break. I don't play it all day long, but there is always something in the background. So we start our morning off with super simple songs, Miss Rachel, Dancing Fruit, something that's not like super overstimulating. Um, sometimes Miss Rachel is, like sometimes she has to go, but we love her. Um, then when I go in their room and I change their sheets and get them ready, you'll see I play music in there usually. And then in the evenings we usually end our day with a movie or something because that's something we started with sage really young and at 18 months she will sit through a whole movie now like we don't have that concern of course i've never taken her to the movie theaters or anything but we've already given her like she started with like 15 minutes of a movie 30 minutes of a movie and now she will watch the entirety of a movie that of course piques her interest um like in total you spitty man mommy gotta go get you a bib um, 
but yeah that's how my morning goes i will update y'all soon i'm just wasting time now and talking because i haven't talked to y'all in forever and i have so many videos recorded i'm gonna try to upload this first because people have been asking for this like multiple people on instagram snapchat whatever so i'm gonna upload this first but i do have other videos i'm gonna upload following this so if my night time night time routine does not get uploaded immediately after this it's just because i'm trying to upload what i've already spent the past two weeks um filming for you guys and then I might have to refilm one of them because, again, I didn't have a tripod and whatever. So, there's that. So, I'll see y'all in a few minutes whenever she decides she's done eating. You fussy. Why are you fussy? Mommy right here. He loves this thing. It just, like, vibrates and tickles him. And usually it'll calm him like right down. But, and then I leave this, not this blanket, but every day I pretty much put a new blanket out because something with me is I wash blankets. I've tried to say bye to y'all three times. Please ignore me. Um, I lay a blanket down so that when they sit or if I change them or something on the couch, there's always the blanket down. Because again, save yourself the worry. Just go ahead and do the extra step of putting the blanket down. And yes, it's one more thing you have to wash, but it's worth not ruining your furniture or your couch and all of these are dumb things but it's all things i've learned with sage and now continuing to learn with levi especially adding a second child you do things so differently than with the first child you know so yeah but okay for real this time i'll see you on a few minutes hey. Okay, so I had to put him down because she's done eating, but the puppy will keep them busy. Usually he stops crying once she goes over there. Go, Naxi, go. So now I let him out. I've wiped down her high chair. Sage, you go with the baby. And she'll usually go keep him busy while I clean up. If she doesn't, I clean up quick and off we go. These are empty, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw more because I just used them to wipe her hands and face down when she was done eating. This is how much she ate, which is pretty good. Um. I'll probably eat the apple slices and then her bib i'm gonna just go ahead and wash it down just from the crumbs and everything let it dry and she'll use a different bib of course for lunch while this one is drying and so that's pretty much the trick is you just have to do it as it goes and i know it's annoying because sometimes we don't have the energy or the time to do these extra steps or whatever but it really 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 makes a difference um when you're like cleaning up for the night i'd rather go to bed at the night time than worry about relaxing during the day because it saves so much time see he's done fussing now that she's over there with him um and i'm just soaping the bed down i don't really use much of anything but i just soap it and then i hang it over the faucet to dry it might be dry by lunch, depending on when she says she wants to eat. And Sage will tell you when she wants to eat. She will literally request food, snack, whatever. If she wants snacks, she goes to the pantry and picks out her snack because the shelf is at her eye level. If she wants to eat, she'll go to her chair and say, eat, eat. So, but anyways, I'm about to go get him because he's being a little fussy butt this morning. And, um... And that's it. That's pretty much my morning other than dressing her, which I'll dress her once he's done fussing because he's just having one of those mornings, drink of water. Um, and so he's dressed, she's fed, he's fed. They're both changed. I just need to get her dressed, which I will do within the next 10 minutes or so. But that's pretty much my morning routine. Like, I know this isn't a morning of getting out the house. So if you guys want to see how I get them ready and get out the house, I will happily do that. Um, but it's 8.30 and my morning routine is over. Everybody's good, fed, playing. Levi's being fussy. Let me show you him. He's even got his bottle and everything. He's just being so fussy. No outside. Not right now. Give me one minute. Okay, baby? <laughs> Okay, baby, wait. Okay, last update, guys. She finally got dressed, and she picked out these shoes that she took a shoe from my mom's house that isn't supposed to be here. So my mom has the other shoe, and so right now she has one shoe on. Look how this girl Stinker. looks. Stinker. Saging. 
Let me see an outfit. Do a spin. Do a spin. Spin around. She's watching TV. Sagey. Spin around. Do a spin. Like what? And she doesn't care. Good spinning. Thank you, baby. Okay, we buy mommy getting you right now. He don't want to be out here at all. And literally, I'm in the middle of like redoing our patio. And so it's an absolute mess out here and it's driving me crazy. Like we had chairs and a table and I sold it and I want to get something different. And I want to get this trampoline needs to go in the downstairs space for her to play with. She's now brushing the dog's hair. But um, it's okay, my baby. Shh. But yeah, so ignore my patio, y'all. This video is just a hot mess. And normally my life isn't a hot mess like this, but whatever, whatever. Okay, for real this time, bye. This was my last snippet. I was so nervous to have two kids. Like when I had her, because having her was a different experience. I was just so nervous to have two. And I was like, how am I going to do it by myself? And da -da. it is so possible. It is so easy. Not easy. I don't mean that. It can be easy. You can make it easier. Um, anyway, so I just laid Levi down for his nap. He does nap in, because Tony's sleeping. Um, I put him in his real crib in her room. So I went ahead and changed his sheet and laid him down. Um, I turned the sounds on. I asked the Alexa to turn on sleep sounds. He sleeps with sounds. I have blackout curtains in there. And then I do have these locks on doors so she can't get into the room while he's sleeping um, because she will happily go in there I mean it's her space that's why I really want them to have separate rooms soon and we're working on that but anyway so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and wipe down the counters and stuff because you know it just helps to do that I probably wipe my counters 50 60 times a day <laughs> not really probably 10 I would say 8 to 10 times a day um, and I'm also going to spray out the sink and her high chair and I will let that sit for a few minutes and then I will wipe it all down and go on about my life. She's still playing um, in between the patio. She's inside right now clapping with Miss Rachel. Oh my goodness. Um, fish, good job baby. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do is just wipe everything out down and then I'm probably going to try to get myself a bite to eat because I haven't eaten yet. Um, and that's pretty much how my morning goes. Like, it's, it's not, oh wow, that's a big fish. Um, it depends on the day, it depends on the morning, it depends on how they're feeling. Sometimes Sage wakes up in the crankiest of crankiest moods, especially when she's teething. She sleeps good, but she wakes up cranky. Um... So it really just depends on everything, but this morning so far has been pretty good. And I'm gonna make myself a coffee and some breakfast, so let's go ahead and do okay, that. Okay, so here's the question. Do you guys like your, um, I used the Keurig, my mom had an espresso, but she actually ended up getting rid of it because she said she didn't like, like, I guess it was messy to use, I don't know. But while my coffee, is being made i'm gonna drink some tea because i don't drink hot coffee i only drink iced coffee so i have to make the coffee and then put it in the freezer and wait like at least an hour for the coffee to be ready so so i am gonna go ahead and drink some sweet tea and then i will have water for the rest of the day two drinks um this is not a coaster but i'm gonna use it as one yes yeah, so i don't know what i want to eat honestly i really don't have an appetite right now let me check what cereals we have maybe i'll have some cereal i'm really not a cereal girly um we have checks honey bunches of oats cinnamon toast crunch cheerios and something else in the back None of that sounds good to me. I don't want French toast. I don't want waffles. I made waffles and froze them, and I don't want that. I don't want toast. Honestly, maybe I'm just going to drink my coffee because I don't feel too hungry right now. Um, so I'm not going to, like, 
hyper fixate on something to eat. But yeah, so the countertops, once I put my coffee in the freezer, would have sat for about three or four minutes now. Um, and then I'll wipe them down, wipe her chair down. And then Levi, okay, so Levi has been a really, really, I don't want to say difficult baby, but I'm going to say challenging because he has not slept well. He has not done good. Sage was colicky for the first two, three months, and I thought that was the end all be all. I thought it was horrible, but um, compared to him, no, he has like GERD and acid reflux and all that good stuff and so he does not sleep by himself well he just 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 started sleeping by himself and he will only sleep for about 30 or 45 minutes so the nap I just put him down for will probably be 30 or 45 minutes maximum um so now I'm just gonna freeze this he pretty much He's just uncomfortable 24-7. I'm going to let this sit and cool off for a little bit. And then I'm going to wipe it down. Um, so he pretty much just has been difficult. Sleep training, we attempted to start just like I did with Sage when she was, I think she was three or four months when we started with her. Um, and then, of course, she started sleeping through the night by about eight months. Um which like I don't expect any baby to sleep through the night like I totally totally understand like you're a baby you start to wake up and eat and stuff it's not that it's the fact that he only sleeps in 20 or 30 minutes since so you're not resting at all it's like we've had a newborn and I'm talking a few weeks old newborn for four almost five months um and it's getting slightly difficult because it is of course challenging especially having another toddler whereas with sage we had tony's other kids multiple times when i had sage but it was different because they're so much older and more self-sufficient um i hate when i burn a candle and the little you know the how the wicks like pop and gets the black stuff on the counter so now i gotta put something on that but anyways it's just been difficult and kind of hard sometimes with levi He's doing much, much better now. We finally got a formula for him that he does not, he spits up, but not like he used to. Like, it was almost like projectile for months, and the doctor was, like, telling us we have to try rice. We have to try this gel -X. and she gave us the gel -X, but then the gel -X caused him to literally, when I say projectile vomit, like, it was horrible. He was so uncomfortable. He was pretty much screaming 24-7. Even when you would try to co-sleep with him for a nap, I wish, I gotta show y'all this girl in a minute when I'm done wiping everything down. She has my mom's Crocs on, because my mom left them here outside, and she's hitting her little baseball toy with the baseball bat. And I just leave the door open, and she comes and goes in and out of the patio. Our patio is completely screened and everything, and there's no outer exit, so. Um... But yeah, it's just been difficult, and the doctor, it was a whole nother thing, like trying to even get him seen, and all this other stuff, dealing with insurance, because I did decide to resign from my teaching job, and I had insurance through my job, so then getting insurance through anybody else was just like, this difficult, like jumping through hoops, like, it was horrible, so my baby was suffering, but he's doing so much better. Um, we tried every form of Enfamil, we tried Enfamil Gentle Ease, the yellow label, the regular, we tried the Reguline, we tried the AR, we tried Similac Sensitive, Similac for spit up, like, and then of course it's like my baby's little system, like being so little, he's trying all these different formulas, and of course we're resetting his GI tract and stuff, but it's still just so much for such a little guy, you know what I'm saying, and so I just felt so bad, and I felt so defeated for so long, this is a whole nother video I can make, um, <clears throat> regarding his issue but <coughs> but it's just like so look at her hold on pretty i love it shoo good job yeah and that binky's driving me crazy she's got all of her teeth in except these top two um canines i guess you call them i don't know her vampire teeth and she's getting them in right now and when she gets those teeth in i'm cold turkeying the binky 
but anyways um i'll make a whole separate video about levi and how he's what he's gone through so hopefully it can help another mom because it really was like i was like crying 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 because i was like my baby is so uncomfortable like when you would cold nap with him i would lay him on me and i'd be sitting here on the couch and i'd be patting he would just squirm and because his belly and his throat and his esophagus he would only sleep at like a 45 degree angle he would only sleep with his head to a certain side he would only like now he's doing so much better the only problem is he still likes to be swaddled for comfort and i know once they start rolling and stuff you're not supposed to swaddle them and so i'm hopefully going to get him a sleep sack so if you guys have any recommendations of a sleep sack you guys like that maybe is even a little weighted that i could transition him into for her when we started sleep training her we used the magic marlins baby sleep suit or whatever worked perfectly for her i've tried it with him multiple times um because i saved both of hers he does not care that does not help him at all i'm gonna try it again now that he's a little bit more comfortable with his formula and his tummy um but again every baby's different the diaper cream for her she works really good on desitin is that how you say it desitin diaper paste he only likes or his body only likes in response to a and d so it's like that's the other thing is like you have to just be willing to try new things because not every baby is oh i use this for my first baby and i swore by it boys are different he pees through everything he's her and him are already in the same size diaper a because he's a chunky man but boys pee different and i had to learn that that like no matter where you tuck it if the diaper doesn't fit right or isn't put on right he's peeing like whereas girls not so much um but anyways, I'm just rambling now. She's going to play. I'm going to wait for him to wake up, let my coffee ice over, get cold. Um, and then I have to get ready for my appointment. I'm leaving here around 11. What time is my appointment? 12. So I'm leaving here around like 1140 because it's right up the street. And so I need to get ready around 11. But she doesn't nap until 12. But he'll probably be down for another nap. So this is the math you have to do as a mom. So I will probably have her, which is fine. So what I did for her, since I'm going to stop recording officially now. I've said that seven times. I got her. She used to like to go in the bathroom and get ready with me. But she would be going through my makeup and taking my brushes and my powdered whatever. She likes to get ready with me. And so I ordered her a play. Go lay down, Maxi. I ordered her a play makeup kit that's just like styrofoam. It's not even like powder or anything. The spray bottles are empty and she thinks she's sitting there. So I keep that in my bathroom. So when I'm getting ready, I give her her play kit and then she doesn't touch my stuff. Not that I really care if she touches my stuff. It's just the messiness of real makeup and powder and things of like cleaning it up. You're trying to get ready if it gets on your outfit, like whatever. So she loves that. So that's a whole nother mom hack is like give them for example if you're cooking in the kitchen i go and i put her little chef's outfit on and i bring her a pot and some food out and she'll sit in the kitchen and pretend to cook with me like if i'm cleaning vacuuming mopping she has a vacuum she has a mop she has so then i go and get her vacuum and she vacuums with me and it's like another step in another task but it's extremely helpful um when you're just trying to do stuff you know like being a mom is not for the week <laughs> but anyways guys so it is now 905 i guess i will seriously conclude my morning routine now because now it's gonna go into afternoon by the time he wakes up um it'll probably be about 10 o'clock when he wakes up fingers crossed and i will see y'all in the next video seriously this time if i don't edit out how many times i said goodbye to y'all i am so sorry i said goodbye like three times <laughs> Anyways, okay guys, bye. bye.